Finally, tonight, for a lot of families, the government school lunch program is a godsend. It feeds nearly 15 million kids free of charge. But are those kids out of luck when school's out for summer? Seth Doan continues his series, The Other America. Crystal Hamilton is taking her four kids and niece out to lunch. Here they get a little bit more than what we probably could give them at home. Which is to say, not much. Yeah. A fact that hasn't escaped her 12-year-old daughter, Kayla. Have you noticed times getting tougher for your parents? Yeah. The Hamilton kids, along with more than 100 others, come to this park on most summer days. But the jungle gym is not the main attraction. How many of you guys came here to have the lunch program? All of us. All of you came for lunch? Yeah. Lunches are here! Lunches are here! Because here in Waukesha, Wisconsin, there is such a thing as a free lunch. Five days a week, Salvation Army staff and volunteers hand out bag lunches to kids who might otherwise go without. When you see all of these kids lining up for food, what goes through your mind? Just that, you know, if we weren't here, there'd be a lot of hungry kids in this community. Milk is almost four bucks a gallon now. That's the same price as a gallon of gas is. So you decide, well, what do I want, the milk or do I need the gas for the car? Okay, let's do the other one. It's a choice they don't have to make these days. The car doesn't work and they can't afford to fix it. Because Crystal was laid off from her job in an accounting office last January. That way, run it that way. Go get your touchdown. Run it. Her husband, OB, lost his job as a commercial driver around the same time. He's now cleaning carpets for roughly half of what he used to make. I don't have no discrimination on what job I take. I mean, if it pays, it pays. But it doesn't pay much, about $15,000 a year. How much time do you spend thinking, worrying about money? I say uh, at least 80% of the time. People that are well off, where, you know, they, they both have a, a mini mansion and cars and stuff, they don't understand how it is to struggle. They just don't. But the Hamiltons do. Kayla has to share her bed with her baby brother. The family needs a government aid just to rent part of this house and pay for food. We've tried our best to get ourselves off of the housing, off of everything that we've been using. Harder and harder. So I'm like, yeah, you would just. OBs even take sustenance. When you're out hunting, is it sport or is it more serious? Is it putting food on the table? Putting food on the table. So. But this spring's rain flooded their basement and ruined last season's catch. This is the freezer here. What was in here? It was stacked all the way with venison, all the way up. Does it feel sometimes like you're just getting hit and hit and yep. hit? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, it's like it's no escape, you know, it's a, you know, right hook here, left hook there, you know. Thank you, Jesus, for what we're about to receive in your name. Amen. The Hamiltons are quick to point out that plenty of others have it worse than they do. But when an extra sandwich is a welcome relief, they know they don't have much. Seth Doan, CBS News, Waukesha, Wisconsin.